Let's see. because there were cars parked on the other side. It didn't cross the center line, but I would have given that truck more, much more room. Oh. Well, now it, it chose to come out the difficult intersection of See how it's hugging this side of the road? It's like, you know, get over. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Oh, uh, this intersection isn't the one I thought it was. What are you doing? you're cutting corners you're doing everything wrong now the other thing it won't do is it won't go around this car or truck and a human would go around this truck as as they are but I'm gonna let it do its thing Of course, nobody is letting this guy in, which is really nasty. You gotta be kidding me. Because I didn't go out of my lane, all these people are annoyed that they couldn't pass me on the right in the uh, gutter. What do you want to go? foot on the gas because the light changed and, and it would have probably hesitated because of that truck and I didn't want to hesitate but so far it's been not too bad um, other than I wish it would go around vehicles that are turning if there's more than ample room because human drivers do that annoys the shit out of me it puts its blinker on up here 
because it makes a short little thing. And if I turn off the blinker, it's going to turn it back on. And no, I'm not going that way. I'm going that way, but it doesn't. It wants to do, and it thinks it's gone 100 feet and then making a left on to Ocean Heights where this is Bethel Road. Well, Bethel Road, uh, no, it goes that way. And it knows it, but it sees this little jog here. Oh, wait a minute, where are we at here? It sees this little jog as a hundred feet, which makes no sense. Anyhow, we'll look at the street view. You see, it sees the people over there, very cautious around people. It worries that they might change direction and go into the road. If they're running this way and you know they're going to stop, you know, anyhow. I had to nag it a little bit, but now it's going to make a perfect, and I have no idea why it puts the blinker on. It makes zero sense. problem is um, it is getting so good and so more human like so safe that you rely on it so much well no no you don't rely on it you get complacent that it is in beta and I have to put my mindset totally different when I drive with it it doing the driving and so therefore sometimes it's stressful and I would just drive there myself um, and that's not the job of a beta tester and uh, I spent I don't know 40 years in computers and so therefore I'm into that and I know that beta testing is a vital part of making this software better and it definitely is getting better and better. The other thing it is getting better at is it turns the blinker on sooner. Uh, when it's coming to a corner whereas before it waited till like if you were doing 40 miles an hour it might wait until 100 feet well guess what that's not a lot of room for the people that are tailgating you for it to slow down and turn and it slows down and turns and you know human drivers texting talking on their phone whatever I don't want them running into the back of me. And so now it's gotten much, much better. Now, you or I would automatically make this decision to go, but because this car is coming on the left, oh, there we go. It didn't make the right decision, and it went. Although, I would have stayed in the lines of the car. I know it thought it had, it had plenty of room. I wouldn't have cut that corner. Good job so far. Well, it took us all the way to Shore Hardware, and I'm not going to say it took us all the way home because we haven't gotten there yet. However, pretty impressive so far. I know the commentary wasn't, but <laughs> you know what? I'm talking to air. I'm talking to myself. I wanted expert advice.
wanted company on the ride to Shore Hardware. 